hi all this is wise angel here and before we get started with any meditation for anxiety depression and mindfulness i thought we'd go through the basics okay so the basics are looking at how to relax meditate and distress and how and how we can do this using common strategies and how we can use different methods and incorporate them into our daily lives to reduce our levels of anxiety and stress and in turn it will help ease the symptoms of them but not continually take them away it's just a way of helping ease and i have used these strategies myself through my local nhs who taught me to use them many moons ago now so slide one is using your senses grounding technique so it is counting back from five four three two and one so you do it slowly so if you you can close your eyes and count count from five four three two and one when you feel the anxiety starting to bubble up from your stomach to your chest and it's like oh god i feel the anxiety i feel the stress I feel the sweats, I feel the shakes. And my voice is starting to go, how can I control it before it controls me? I know I've got this too. It's called the 543212. So I'll use that grounding tool to take away that stress. So it's 54321. You get slower and slower. You should practice it. Okay. And then you can start to focus on things you can see. So number five is the things you can see. So what can you see around you? What can you use to distract you? So there could be a spider in the corner of the room, running around in, in the corner. There could be your dog on the floor or your cat if you're outside it could be the trees gently swaying in the breeze or a flower that you haven't seen before it could be anything if it's at work and that's triggering your anxiety move to somewhere else if you can okay number four things you can feel we normally do some self-soothing techniques like of rubbing our hands together rubbing on our legs we can click on a pen click on a lighter even if we don't smoke you can click on a lighter click on a vape some people self-soothe by picking up their fingernails yeah we pick up some bad habits when we do things like that or we feel we we'll sit and scratch at our face, touch our face, touch our ears, feel our hair. Constantly readjusting yourself. That's one way of us self-soothing and feeling. But also when we feel anxious, as we've said before, we feel the stress. So a one way to feel the grounding technique number four is we could hold on to a crystal the crystal you can then start associating with feeling calm or a teddy bear a little mini teddy bear you could start feeling calm with that by just sitting stroking it or you could sit and stroke your dog that's all about feeling number three what can you hear? Is it a piece of music that helps settle you down? Is it 
music like you can hear playing in the background or is it just being out in nature hearing the traffic hearing the trees blown even the birds or hearing the bees buzz around so if we've looked at seeing feeling and hearing now we're going on to slide two which is smell things that make you calm down by smelling so it could be your incense if you burn incense it could be smell of lavender essential oil it could be a cup, the cup of tea that you've got the smell of the tea smell of freshly cooked grass smell of someone getting their roof done the tar smell um smell of your favorite flowers different fragrances like that that can trigger that memory that can help you relax so we've done seeing feeling hearing and smell now we can move on to the grinding technique of tasting yes we can comfort eat and i'll go the other way and then we can comfort eat we can eat one chocolate button you can have a fruit juice you can drink water you can eat a piece of fruit you can go back to the seeing the feeling and the smell and the taste and combine them all with the piece of fruit chop an apple in, in half for example what do you see when you see the inside of the apple what do you feel from the outside of the apple? What do you smell from the inside of it? How does it taste? How did it sound in number three when you cut through it? Did that make you feel calm when you cut through? Okay. We're now going to move on to calming thoughts. What are common thoughts? What calms you down when you're feeling anxious and stressed? What brings you down? Just think of that for a moment before we move on to the next slide. I know what brings me down, back down to earth, what calms me. It's thinking of my late uncle, thinking of growing up when I was a child, thinking of the carefree days, thinking of playing down by the river, and believe it or not, digging for worms for the fishermen to earn some pocket money for me, for me snacks and drinks while I was playing down by the river, as we had a little sweet van that year wasn't far from the river so calming calming thoughts you can close your eyes and imagine the voice or face of someone you love telling you that you're in a safe place and you are well so now for a minute just close, gently close your eyes. Imagine the face of someone you love telling you that you are safe and well. going to look at your favourites. Number five is people, your favourite people. Who are your favourite people? They could be your children. They could be your mum, your dad, your grandma, your aunties, your uncles, your friends, all those people you like hanging out with. 
could even be people you associate with in the community, people you work with, your favourite people. I'd include my dog as one of my favourite people as well. He's my family as well. Just think for a moment or two. Just be present when thinking. And while you're thinking that, think of your favourite foods for number four. Your favourite foods, are you a spicy food person? Are you a curry eater? Are you fruit eater? Vegetable eater? Do you like eating meats? Do you like eating vegetarian foods? Do you follow a full plant diet? Are you on a liquid diet because of health reasons? I know it's not necessarily always the favourite thing to do, but is that is there a, a favourite meal replacement you you like? Favourite flavour? And now favourite songs. For some strange reason. For the last few days, I've got an example of a song in my head, and it's a Queen song from well before I was really into Queen, and it's one that was used by one of me dance teachers at school, my PE teachers, and it's I Want to Ride My Bicycle. One of my Queen all-time favorite songs is um i want to write well it's not i want to buy ride my bicycle it's uh Bar barcelona by freddie and Mar uh freddie mercury and Montserrat capaville um i cannot sing for toffee but i used to try and i used to get on my mum's nerves and i like also i'm going slightly mad but I also like Bohemian Rhapsody. So, as you can see, I'm quite a bit of a rock person, but I also like to listen to some of the classical music because that actually brings me down to earth. It helps me calm and helps me go off to sleep. Um. What about yourselves? Just think on that for a moment or two. Well, number two is your favourite places. My very favourite place to go is the beach. Because we have some local beaches here. And I absolutely adore going to those. I feel most at peace there. There is also some beautiful parks around here. But my ultimate favourite place is there's no place like home. As Dorothy said, there's no place like home. And think about your favourite music. Your favourite movie, I should say, not music. Your favourite movie, mine is Field of Dreams. There's Kevin Costner in. And yes, it was about baseball. And they said, you build it and they will come. Yes, it, the message in that is, yeah, you build it, you, they will come. But he built a baseball field in his cornfield for Babe Ruth to come and play and his team to come and play baseball 
the difference for them was they were all spirits similar to what I'm building as a channel I build a channel and you all come from your own volition you all come for either a card reading to connect with spirit for a chat a nice calming friendly in one place that leaves you feeling hopefully that we've achieved the goals that we set out to achieve We've, we've had a relaxing, calming chat, we've made friends, we've talked abundantly about our thoughts and feelings of the spirit world and how we go about our daily lives. And now, hopefully, by do looking at these slides, which I found on a website, I haven't put these together, but I thought they were beautiful, the colours are calming, the message that that's coming across is very calming. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll try this and see if my viewers subscribers can use this to help them ease their anxiety see if they can use these five step tools before I add one thing on the end which is a guided meditation I'm sorry about that noise I live on a busy main road as you can hear Right, I'm going to pause here. Ocean mind anxiety relief. Meditation. So we're going to focus on the sensations of breathing. So, and you, you will be able to let your attention go to wherever the breath comes from most naturally to yourself. For some people, it's the sensations of the air. And the level of the nostrils with that gentle feeling coming in and out as the air passes in and out of the nostrils for others it's the level of the breath in coming making the chest rise and fall so i'd like you to either find a comfortable place either lying down or sitting still and others find breathing most naturally at the level of the abdomen and when the diaphragm it underneath the lungs is pulling down bringing air into the lungs as you're breathing in and the abdomen is actually moving upward and pushing the air out and when it's released from the lungs as you breathe out the abdomen may actually contract and move inwards so let's take a few moments and just ride the wave of your breathing wherever it makes you feel most naturally okay let's begin your nostrils, your chest and your abdominal movement for some people it is even just the whole body whatever comes naturally for you and just let your attention ride the wave of your breathing as you're sensing your breathing in and out I'm going to go through an ancient story with you that has been passed like the ocean where deep in the ocean, beneath the surface, 
it is calm and clear. And the form that deep place in the ocean, you can look upward towards the surface. And at the surface, no matter what the conditions are, whether it is flat or choppy, or even at a full storm, no matter what those conditions are, deep in the ocean, it is calm and clear. And sensing the breath allows you to go to the depth of the ocean of your mind. Where from this deep, tranquil place, you can look upward at the waves at the surface. The brain waves that are the activities of your mind, that from this deep place in your mind, you can notice the thinking or feeling of perceiving all those feelings that are just there at the surface and notice them as being activities that come and go out of awareness like ripples on a pond and just sensing your breath brings you back to this tranquil place in the depth of your mind so let's take a few moments right now just sense your breath and when an activity of the mind brings your attention to it like a thought a feeling a memory a sensation then lovingly and gently you can take a mental note of that activity and redirect that attention to the breath for some people it's helpful to make a gentle mental note so if there's a thought that you can gently see in your mind thinking or there's a sensation you can gently see it thank you and move on and then let your attention return to the breath to this depth of your mind where you can sense and observe the activities of the mind as just that, just activities and not the totality of who you are and just sense your breath and when you come to notice that your mind is no longer focusing on the breath lovingly and gently take note of that and return your attention to your breathing now in just for a few moments we will bring this exercise to a close and just let yourself enjoy the deep tranquility that comes from your just sensing the breath knowing that focusing your mind on your breathing brings you this to this deep place of calm and clarity and when you're ready you can let your eyes open in five, four, three, two, one. How do you feel? What? Oh, what senses were awakened? Did you acknowledge those intrusive thoughts and just push them to one side? Then go back to your breathing. Did you go back to just being in the moment? with your breathing I would like to thank you for taking part in this session today and at the end of this 
session i'm going to put some diary sheets into the presentation for you to fill in if you so wish or you can email me at wiseangeluk at gmail.com and i will only be too pleased to email email you them or i can give you the website now which is http https double dot forward slash forward slash pro dot positive psychology dot com thank you once again for listening and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Ocean mind anxiety relief. Meditation. So we're going to focus on the sensations of breathing. So, and you, you will be able to let your attention go to wherever the breath comes from most naturally to yourself. For some people, it's the sensations of the air and the level of the nostrils. And it's that gentle feeling coming in and out as the air passes in and out of the nostrils. For others, it's the level of the breath in coming, making the chest rise and fall. So I'd like you to either find a comfortable place, either lying down or sitting still and others find breathing most naturally at the level of the abdomen and when the diaphragm it underneath the lungs is pulling down bringing air into the lungs as you're breathing in and the abdomen is actually moving upwards and pushing the air out and when it's released from the lungs as you breathe out the abdomen actually contracts and moves inwards so let's take a few moments and just ride the wave of your breathing wherever it makes you feel most naturally okay Let's begin. Your nostrils, your chest, and your abdominal movement for some people. It is even just the whole body, whatever comes naturally for you. And just let your attention ride the wave of your breathing. As you're sensing your breathing in and out, I'm going to go through an ancient story with you that has been passed like the ocean where deep in the ocean beneath the surface it is calm and clear and that form that deep place in the ocean you can look upward towards the surface and at the surface no matter what the conditions are whether it is flat or choppy or even at a full storm no matter what those conditions are deep in the ocean it is calm and clear and sensing the breath allows you to go to the depth of the ocean of your mind where from this deep tranquil place you can look upward at the waves at the surface the brain waves that are the activities of your mind that from this deep place in your mind you can notice the thinking 
of feeling, of perceiving. All those feelings that are just there at the surface and notice them as being activities that come and go out of awareness. Like ripples on a pond. And just sensing your breath brings you back to this tranquil place in the depth of your mind. So let's take a few moments right now. Just sense your breath. And when an activity of the mind brings your attention to it, like a thought, a feeling, a memory, a sensation, then lovingly and gently, you can take a mental note of that activity and redirect that attention to the breath. For some people, it's helpful to make a gentle mental note. So if there's a thought that you can gently see in your mind, thinking or as a sensation you can gently say thank you and move on and then let your attention return to the breath to this depth of your mind where you can sense and observe the activities of the mind as just that just activities and not the totality of who you are. And just sense your breath. And when you come to notice that your mind is no longer focusing on the breath, lovingly and gently take note of that. And return your attention to your breathing. Now in just for a few moments, we will bring this exercise to a close. And just let yourself enjoy the deep tranquility that comes from your just sensing the breath. Knowing that focusing your mind on your breathing brings you this, to this deep place of calm and clarity. And when you're ready, you can let your eyes open in five four, three, two, one. How do you feel? What, oh, what senses were awakened? Did you acknowledge those intrusive thoughts and just push them to one side, then go back to your breathing. Did you go back to just being in the moment with your breathing? I would like to thank you for taking part in this session today and at the end of this session I'm going to put some diary sheets into the presentation for you to fill in if you so wish or you can email me at wiseangel uk at gmail.com and i will only be too pleased to email email you them or i can give you the website now which is Http TTPS double dot forward slash forward slash pro dot positive psychology dot com.
thank you once again for listening and i'll see you on the next one bye for now if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and if you would like to buy me a coffee the links are on the website uh, sorry on youtube and all donations will be given to communities together Sunderland West to help fund activities for the community and some counselling sessions for young people who are struggling. Thank you and goodbye.